or something. <laughs> okay, so mitosis again is cell division, and it's one cell becoming two identical cells. And there's different steps. And I like to say, I play music at the club. The club. <laughs> okay, I play music at the club. What does yeah. that sound for me again? <laughs> We're going to see that. Good question, Carlos. Interface. Oh. Prophase. Metaphase. Metaphase. No. Anaphase. Telephase. Telophase or telophase, depending on how no. you pronounce it, and cytokinesis. <coughs> those last two are kind of the same process. Those last two are the same, um, really kind of the same thing. Interphase is normal cell activity. And that's when the cell spends most of its time. Exactly. And this is, you learn probably the G1, the S phase, the G2 phase. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interphase. That's all interphase. The majority of the cell time is is an interphase. That's when it's doing its metabolic activity. That's when it's making proteins. That's when it's during the S phase when it's duplicating its chromosomes. So all the G1, S, and G2, those are all interphase. Those are all parts of interphase. Okay, okay. all parts of interphase. And then there's the mitotic phase, and that's what these are. The M phase, mitosis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now during prophase, chromosomes coil up. So kind of how I usually draw it is the the nucleus actually starts to break down because DNA is in the nucleus where it's kept safe. But the nucleus actually breaks down, and you can actually start seeing these chromosomes coil up. Because before they're just a big wad of like big wad of protein and DNA called chromatin, right? Kind of like a snotty kind of consistency stuff. That's just all inside the nucleus, and it's called chromatin. That's and why when they say, uh, what was that thing? That they, um, like, what are they, what is it? they condense. Like yeah, they condense. So that's another word for the coiling up. Yeah. I never really understood that, whenever, but now it makes sense, like, with the proteins and all that stuff. Like. Yeah, and if, you, if you've ever had condensed milk, oh yeah, it's really thick, right? Yeah. So that's what that means. They thicken up. They coil up. They become chromosomes that you could see instead of these DNA strands all tangled up. Okay. It's amazing they don't get totally tangled up. Okay. <clears throat> now, what happens during, so that's prophase. The cr chromosomes become visible. The nucleus breaks down. Metaphase, and pro kind of means before, right? So it's like the first phase of it. Kind of makes sense. Um, Mr. Johnson, if you're on campus, please come. During metaphase, that's, I, I like to say that it's the middle, fa middle phase. Because yeah. that's when chromosomes go to the middle. Now, in mitosis, what they do is you want to have a copy of every chromosome because mitosis makes identical cells. Think the eye in mitosis means <coughs> identical cells, identical copies. Okay? And so what happens is these chromosomes line up. And it's actually a couple different things. And you probably learned a little bit about centrosomes, um, which kind of control the microtubule like the, organizing centers. The bi, uh, something spindle, bi. The spindle. Fibers, maybe. Okay. But these guys actually line up, and they actually use microtubules to pull to pull these chromosomes into place. So they're they're attached in the middle of the chromosome is a place called the centromere, and that's where the microtubules attach. It's to the centromere. Yeah. Okay. Then anaphase, I like to say that's the apart phase, because what happens is now the chromosomes are getting pulled apart. Now, the sister chromatids are getting pulled apart, and each one now is a full chromosome. Okay. So, I kind of draw that like this. Now, we wouldn't normally have an odd number of chromosomes, but or that's all right. Okay, so that's the apart phase, the anaphase. Comes apart a little bit, and then... The telophase or the telophase, I like to say telophase, means the ending phase and or distant phase, and they come apart even further. They move further apart. And so those chromosomes now are even further apart. And what is beginning to happen here, and the reason why that telophase and cytokinesis are kind of the same stage, is that the cell begins to divide. It begins to divide into two. So the telophase is 
the end cell divides into two, and depending whether it's a plant or animal cell, this looks a little bit different. In an animal cell, there's what's called a cleavage furrow. Yeah. In a plant cell, there's a cell plate. Mm -hmm. But they divide into two, and you end up with two identical cells. Now, you may look at that and say, well, how is that an identical cell to what we started with? Because these guys have X-shaped chromosomes with two sister chromatids, and these only have the one, one sister chromatid, which is now considered a full chromosome. But the reason why they're identical to the original cell is because they have the exact same genetic information. They have exact copies of that same genetic information. And that's what makes them identical. Um, okay, so telophase and